Yes, 13's Marissa Perlman was in the courtroom today for the sentencing, and she joins us live with emotional reaction from the women who survived these attacks. Marissa? Yeah, Curtis, it is this day that some of these women have been waiting for for decades to see their rapist finally sentenced to, sentenced rather to life in prison. But tonight, they're also bringing to life how rape victims are treated through the justice system. Roy Waller is and will no, no doubt go down in history as one of the worst monsters we have seen in California. Listening to his own reign of terror as the NorCal rapist directly from his victims, Roy Charles Waller learns his fate nearly 900 years in prison. Wearing an orange jumpsuit, white face mask, and shackles, Waller remained emotionless in court, avoiding all eye contact. I wish he had looked at me even one time. Nicole Ernest Pate, Waller's first victim in 1991, calls this day a win for the nine women he terrorized, but says rape victims should not be told to stay silent or only be known as a Jane Doe. We are anonymized. We are told we should hide our faces. I heard from the defense attorney that I should not speak to the media. I should be embarrassed. He was shocked that I'm not. We asked that defense attorney, Joe Farina, about those comments outside court. It's embarrassing allegations no matter what you do, and you know, whether she agrees with it or not, it just is. But ultimately, not much to say. The case is over, and it's a difficult case. He said the evidence was too much to prove his client's innocence. Prosecutors say Waller's DNA was found at all but one of the crime scenes. They credit genetic genealogy to how they won this case. Mr. Waller deserves every single second that the judge gave him today. His victims calling it the greatest relief to know they no longer have to live in fear. And this man's life behind bars, now confirmed as the NorCal rapist, is just beginning. I hope he lives a very, very, very long life. After all of this, Waller maintains his innocence. His lawyer does plan to appeal outside court prosecutors today, telling us he is technically eligible for elder parole after 25 years in prison, but they are hoping that a judge rules he will not be eligible after spending that time in prison.